Welcome to On The Line, the first of a two-part mini-series brought to you by Market Club. We're so confident in the power of Market Club, our Trade the Triangles technique, and our scanning tools that we're willing to put ourselves on the line to show you that our signals work and our scanning tools will help you profit and become a better trader. We're going to use Market Club today to pick markets live and then trade them with a $25,000 paper trading account. We're going to diversify by choosing two stocks, two futures, and four X markets. We're going to follow them along and see how you would have profited from Market Club. See the results live on May 24th, 2007. Here's our president and CEO, Adam Hewison. Hi, this is Adam Hewison. Welcome to my home page. I'm very excited today because I want to share with you some powerful new tools we have developed for Market Club members. I'm going to show you exactly how these work live. So let's take a look at what they are. The first one we want to talk about is our recent trade triangles. You're going to find this on the home page right here and you're also going to find it under smart scan. This is what everyone's been asking for. We finally have got what you want to be successful. So we're going to trade five different markets. Two stocks, two futures and one forex market. And we're going to show you exactly how you can find winning trades using this program which you're going to love and Market Club. So let's start right away. Let's, let's click on the recent trade triangles and here we are at the page we talked about recent trade triangles right here and we are going to search for equity trades and the first thing we do with equity trades is this so let's just take this off the screen first thing we want to do is equity and we want to use our monthly trade triangles because that's what we use for the long term and the better trends in equity so hit scan and here we have a list right away as you can see it gives you the symbol description the open the high the low last change percentage change the volume and so forth then finally we give you our scores on the far right hand side right here 100 means there's a very strong upward trend in these markets so let's take this off the screen and let's look at um, let's look at pen growth energy trust and let's click on this market and we're going to go to the monthly chart because we want to see the signal on the monthly chart what was generated dynamically today here we are on the monthly chart and as you can see right today at 1796 we had a signal to buy this stock PGH currently the markets trading at 1802 so we're going to take our signal at 1802 even though you could have gotten in earlier but it's close enough for what we want so we are long PGH from 1802 let's go back we want to find a corresponding market that we can get short so we're going to zip back to our recent triangles monthly trade triangles we're going to scope it down and we're going to look for a stock that we can go short now this is something that you'll find incredibly useful in your trading let's take a look at federated department stores right here it's minus 100 it's the first 100 that came up and let's just take a look at what that looks like big volume over 12 million shares traded today and we want to look again at the monthly chart get data and there it is 4088 currently trading at 3907 so we're going to say 3907 we are short federated just that simple and that's how we tell about the market so we're long PGH at 1802 and we're short federated at 3907 so even though the signals were higher as you can see right here at 48.8 we're taking the signal as it is right now so if you can get in better than this you'll do even better than we will so let's take that off the screen and we are trading as I said two stocks one long one short two futures one long one short and one forex market and we have a theoretical $25,000 we're trading with so let's stay tuned and let's go to futures now okay we're back at our scan page and for futures it's a little bit different so you have to pull down the pull down menu choose future and then we look at our weekly trade triangles that's what we use for our trend in futures trading futures tends to be much shorter term so weekly starts us off on the right track and the first thing we want to look at is let's see if we can find a something to get long here let's see what we've got here 
Let's take a look at this natural gas. Click on here. We want to go to the weekly chart and as you can see we have signal today at 8.30 Okay, so we'll say even though the market closed higher at 8.40.50 we'll say we're long from 8.40.50 and that's our position. 8.40.50 we're long August natural gas. So let's take that as a long position. Now let's look for a short position. Again this reduces your risk when you have two different markets and you're in different positions it reduces your risk. So we're going to scale it down looking for the negatives and let's take a look to see if we can find something that is negative that we like. Okay, we're looking at this market and gain and we are seeing a lot of 100 negatives, which is really what you want to look for if you want to be selling these markets short. So the first thing we want to look at is we're going to look at the September contract of T-bonds. And as you can see on the weekly, we want to go to the weekly for a trend. 110.93 was our signal. It's 110.44. We'll take our signal at 110.44 as a sell short. So we're selling this market short and we're, selling, we're going long natural gas. So we're betting interest rates are going to go higher and that natural gas is going to go higher. So that's our two futures trades for now. Let's go back to our scan and let's look for a Forex trade. Okay, we're back at the scan page. Recent triangles, this is incredibly powerful technology that we've just brought to the market today. You are going to be amazed at how powerful it is. We're going to look at for Forex, Forex exchange, and we're going to look for weekly trade triangles. So let's see a scan. Okay, now you're going to feel a lot of esoteric markets here, like the US dollar Ukrainian Hiverina and the Netherlands Antillian Gilder. These are markets that are not traded that much, but I'm going to look at the US dollar British pound market. So I'm going to click on here, pull the chart up to where we want to be, get to our weekly column. Okay. And there it is, 5064. That's where the market is, 5063. So we're going to be long dollars short British pounds at 5063. And that's it. That's pretty much, that's pretty simple how it works. And you're going to use your dailies for stops. So we've got a whole stop mechanism that we don't have time to go into right this second, but watch these trades, see how they work out. I think you'll be amazed at just how powerful this program is. So let's get back to the scan. There's a whole other section of scans we can use, which are very powerful, and we'll talk about those in another video. So stay tuned. Did we come out on top? See for yourself at our trader's blog at club.info.com backslash trading backslash.